You can easily edit your audio file with audio editing software. There are several audio editing software tools on the market today. Choosing the best one can be really difficult. To solve this problem, I've created this video to help you to save time. In this short video, I'm going to show you seven beneficial secrets that only few people know about, but which make it the best in the best audio editing software category. Let's not waste any time and get started. What is Adobe Audition? Editing software designed for audio and video editing. It helps with video mixing and mastering, podcast recording and noise reduction. Features of the platform include remixing, multi-track editing, white noise elimination and sound effects. Pricing details. Adobe Audition offers a 7-day free trial for new users, after which the software is available across pricing tiers. Pricing and functionality outlined below. Annual plan, billed monthly, $20.99 per month. Annual plan, prepaid, $239.88 per year. Monthly plan, $31.49 per month. Pros Audition is a stable DAW and the standard DSP is all good quality, particularly the time-based processors. Adobe Audition is truly outstanding programming, which helps to eliminating distortions, enhance the sound and upgrade the vocals. It covers pretty much every element for sound engineering. I find myself very comfortable with Audition because I can work in higher quality and produce very satisfying podcasts with great approval from my audience. I am very satisfied with the functionality of Adobe Audition because it allows me to edit my podcasts and significantly improve the audio quality of my work. Cones. I think that still miss some tools, some plugins. I hate the fact that you can't use MIDI with the Adobe Audition. Quite expensive when compared to its counterparts, plus the UI is a bit confusing at the beginning. While Audition has a lot of advanced functionality, it means that it can be difficult to onboard new users. This is why only a few people on my team use this software. What is Adobe Premiere Pro? Cloud-based video editing solution that allows businesses to create and edit videos, add effects or transitions, and export completed footage on a unified platform. It enables users to add captions in video clips, create animated slideshows, and streamline review approval processes. Pros Its transitions and ease of video editing are amazing. The best feature that Premiere Pro has to offer is the ability to nest objects and sequences. I've been using this editing software for almost 7 years and all I could say is that it is a great software in which you can import or create fantastic animations, transitions and titles. I love the software and it is so much better than free versions that are out there. Cones. I've had various rendering problems where final rendering is aborted because of strange and unknown problems. It can be hard to get up to speed on how to use Adobe products in general and this is also the case with Adobe Premiere Pro. When using effect that fades from 0 to 100, I always get black flicker problems in the vinyl video. If I use the transparency tool and keyframe it from 0 to 100, it works normal. I absolutely hate the user interface and user experience. This software looks and feels complicated and I get a headache just looking at it. What is Blender? Ultra-realistic rendering system that includes GPU and CPU rendering, modeling, video editor, sculpting, simulations and more. Best 4. Design an animation platform which assists organizations of all sizes with rendering, modeling, VFX, simulation and video editing. Pros The documentation is pretty good to have first-time or existing users create stunning 3D models. I think Blender is a great tool to create your own design for excellent content. For the beginner, this is the best software to use because they have a lot of features which are totally free. Performance is getting better with every new update. It is gaining attention of big parties like Top Game and Movie Studios. It is heavily supported by its users. Future is super superb bright and difference between Blender and other rivals is reducing with every new update. Cons. The only thing I'll say is this software has way too many different functionalities embedded into a single software that makes it somewhat complicated to use. There are several things that annoy me with the program, for example, known manifolds that are highlighted when searched for and keep existing after fixed. And the app can crash from time to time, but same could be said to any 3D software. I also struggled with the documentation's organization and level of detail. The interface was also a major challenge. What is Descript? 
The script is an all-in-one audio and video editor that makes editing as easy as a word doc. Upload media or record directly in this script to instantly transcribe your file into text, then tweak the text to directly edit your media clips. Edit out filler words and silent gaps with a single click. Record your screen and webcam for presentations and video messages and edit out mistakes before publishing. Export your project to other pro apps. Best 4. Made for content creators and businesses who are making podcasts, vlogs, videos, screen recordings, transcriptions and social media assets. Pricing details. The script offers a free basic account with screen recording, collaboration features and 3 hours of transcription. Only editors pay. The three types of paid accounts include Creator $12 per editor per month annually or $15 per editor per month monthly. Pro $24 per editor per month annually or $30 per editor per month monthly. Enterprise Get in touch with us for custom pricing. Pros Overall, I'm thrilled with what the script has brought to my show. I'm even more excited to post new episodes now because I know each week the listeners are getting a better and better show. Overall, I love it and definitely want to learn how to use the other features, but I'm extremely happy with the use of the features that I do know how to use. The script helped me go from a complete novice at audio editing to very proficient within just a few weeks' time. I find the script to be a super useful tool and highly recommend it to others. It is also super helpful in identifying editing points. I also appreciate how easy it is to edit individual tracks within the larger audio project and easily drag and drop files. Cones. And they seem to always show up, even when they've been corrected previously, so it's unclear whether the machine is actually learning. Because it is cloud-based, I had nothing on my hard drive to try and salvage, it just stopped working. There, there is no way to edit two separate tracks in one audio, for example two people speaking with their own audios. Room tone generation seems to be selected as default. When using filler word removal, the cuts can sound quite harsh and require spaces before and after to sound natural. What is Remaster Media? Remaster Media is a web application tool service where users can upload your wonderful audio video media content to optimize your audio for any platform for pennies rather than hundreds of dollars in a professional studio. You can access the service via the web, on your PC or mobile device browser. There's nothing to install and the web browser version on your phone is very mobile friendly. The AW plugin available. Best for Audiobook producers, educators, vloggers, musicians, advertisers, basically anyone creating content that wants to sound amazing on the internet. Pricing details 50 cents per minute, discounted rates available for packages and subscriptions. Pros Listen to any of the episodes, it sounds amazing, better than Dolby Digital in the movie theater. Does exactly as it says it does, improves the quality of any audio you have. Remaster Media gave me the opportunity and the audio improvement was amazing. Good cleanup for a range of audio profiles and usage. For me, cleaning up presentations on cassette tapes from the 80s has been a great success. Cones. I had previous issues with bulk upload. Somehow, some of the uploaded files disappeared while processing, but after letting the customer service know about the bug, they fixed it quite quickly. When I started using the product, it was annoying when we had to re-upload files that we wanted to apply a second profile to. None initially did not support all audio formats, but with the updates now everything is possible. Looks are one thing, but the confusion and inefficient layout are quite frustrating.